it's not a super common that you have such a high hypenigium. What about your fingernails? No, those aren't too high. You've got nice nails though. Oh, thank you. Probably because I don't really do much with them. <laughs> So you'll be able to see in the video when you watch it. These little you got little circles, mm -hmm. little circle, little circle, little tiny circle. That is when you can tell if you have athlete's foot. It's some weird little thing that it does to the skin. So it's almost all gone. You just got a teeny bit left. So just I guess keep at it. Yeah. I'm starting to wonder oh, yeah, if I don't have that one, what's it called, like moccasin one, where it comes up every so often? I don't think so. Okay, good. Yeah. Because I was going to say, like, I am not going to be doing this every, like, summer. Right. Well, I mean, I will if I have to, but I don't want to be. Is that the one that it's the trichophyton rubum or something like that? That sounds right. Um, that's the one that causes that. But yeah, and like it's usually on the bottom and on the sides, and it'll go away and it'll come back and mm -hmm. go away and come back. I'd like to have the kind that just goes away. Yeah, so <laughs> let's just make it go away. Like instead of like battling all this stuff, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just throw away these shoes and I'm gonna really like focus on it and uh -huh. whatever. Like, yeah, no, well, I'm you can, any shoes that can go in the washing machine and dryer, mm -hmm. wash them in hot, dry them on high heat to kill the fungus that is inside the shoes, and then use a um, antifungal spray for shoes. Mm -hmm. The Imperial Feet line does have. I got theirs now. A spray for, my for that. And stuff. Yeah, so we use that on your feet. The only closed toe shoes I have now are for work, and I spray them out and take the little cone out. And oh, good. So I'm that girl in winter in um, sandals because I'm like, nope, I'm getting rid of this. <laughs> yes. Well, it's almost gone, so we should be in good shape pretty soon. So this discoloration, I'm just looking at your sandals. I think it's just stain mm -hmm. from the dye in your shoes. Okay. When your feet get hot and perspire a little bit, then it pulls off the dye that is in your shoes. Okay. Well, I mean, that makes sense. I am, for some reason, unfortunately, a sweaty girl and I can sweat in the winter. Are you? Yes. And that's probably why it's the perfect, you know, environment for... Right. I was like, I learned my lesson. Wash your own socks. Don't wear that. <laughs> and how are his feet doing now? Oh, no. He, he's, it's full blown. Oh, He's just gosh. got man. Well, I guess you shouldn't normalize man feet. No. Unquote. But, I mean, they're just, they're not horrible. Like, you wouldn't see them on, on YouTube. But, <laughs> you know, if you watch videos like yours, you'd be like, mm. Hey, I can use some help. We need a little TLC. My husband has beautiful, like, skin and nails and, like, his feet are lovely. Like Bruce's feet. <laughs> Bruce has nice feet. I saw a video. Well, I haven't seen the video yet where you paint it its toenails. Yeah. I haven't watched it yet, but I saw that it's there. Yeah. We just thought it would be cute. Show off one of the polish colors <laughs> from the nail polish line. I'm hoping once I have all of this under control, I can treat myself to some meticulous nail polish. Yes, you will be able to. I know that um, Imperial has a nail polish that they say is okay, but I just, I would rather just leave everything open and just yes. get it cured and then enjoy colors and things later. Right. That's 
<laughs> that doesn't smell good. Okay, you can put that foot back in the water. Okay. I'm just gonna switch around. Give me a sec. How long are you guys staying? Um, we're either, depending on if we catch our flight or not, we're either gonna go home today or we might go home tomorrow. That's so awesome. You we guys literally get only three. <laughs> oh, that's so great. Free plane tickets. What a bonus. Yes, it, it is awesome. Of course, you know, it's funny. Well, it's not funny. I guess I shouldn't say funny. But because of the um, pandemic, we haven't really got to do too much. Because at first, we had a newborn. You know, and she was too young, we didn't want to fly with her, and then she was finally old enough, you know, the virus broke out. But it's, like, we both have our vaccine, so I felt like, oh, well, it's safe enough for us to go out, we're not going to be spreading anything. Right. And, of course, anytime I have to go to work, I'm protected, he's protected, so. Right. Because I wouldn't want to be going out and potentially getting anyone else sick, but. Right. crazy whenever we go anywhere I you know no one's ever within 20 feet of my bubble you know <laughs> people are always there's just not a lot of people out yeah yeah we don't go out too much anymore like it's mostly target and public you guys have Publix up here right mm -mm. Mm, okay not wait. in Michigan okay so uh Publix is a grocery store yeah they have them in uh, Virginia though like oh. when I go see my sister I see those Little girls of Target girl. She'll wake up some days and be like, Mama, let's go to Target. <laughs> let's and go shopping. Shop No, just a couple. There's a couple little ones on your toe and one right there. So you are on the right. And one right there. Well yeah. done. <laughs> Not many. People will say, aren't you worried you're going to catch fungus from somebody's feet? I'm like, no. As soon as I wash my hands, there's no chance of me catching it on my hands. Hands exposed to air most of the time, and it's easier to clean, and it's yeah. not a sock or a shoe all day. Yep. There's no warm, dark, moist places. I've got handrail burn there. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I, my foot slipped going down some wooden stairs. Mm -hmm. And my heel like skidded down like three steps. Oh. While my other foot stayed up oh, so on the first split. step. Yeah, so like I needed the splits. But my hand was on the handrail and it flipped around and it slid on the wood. Oh. Did you get a splinter? No. Good. Just uh kind of rubbed off the top layer of skin. I'm sure that was not enjoyable at all. It didn't really hurt, but I was a little embarrassed. <laughs> I'm like, no, just slippery wooden <laughs> stairs and the soles of my shoes. Was it one of those um, like real old wooden stairs where it's been worn down by yes. people? Yeah. yeah. There's a courthouse in my hometown that's like that, but it's made out of marble. Oh, do I put my You can put it back in, yeah. Um, and everybody kind of um, 
need like a step stool in the kitchen mm -hmm. and my mom was five too. Well, actually I'm spoiled enough that I don't spend too much time in the kitchen because my husband's an amazing cook as well. Yeah, that me too. <laughs> Bruce does 90% of the cooking. What's his flying schedule like nowadays? Um, I mean, about the same. Now, there wasn't a, a while where he took off because they were doing like a COVID thing where you could not work for a bit and you would get unemployment or something. Um, so he took off for a bit. But since he started back, it's the same, really. Is he domestic or international? Um, he flies for Delta and he goes any, anywhere. He tries to do more. He's me domestic right now just because he doesn't like being so far away from us. Um, but before we had the baby, um, he would do international all the time. But he's one of those lucky people that get tired of going to the <laughs> luxurious places. He'd be like, oh, they're sending me here again and I'd be at work like, I've already oh, been there. Right. That's so funny. He's been several times and he's like, oh, they're sending me here again. And I'm like, have anybody heard you say that? Because they were scream. <laughs> yeah. Spoiled. Mm-hmm. Bryce? Wait, where's that place that you were going all the time, international, that you got tired of going? Amsterdam? No, the other place. Yeah, the other. Oh, where's the place that you were going all the time, though? Dublin? No, not Dublin. Uh, was it like Greece or something? Prague? Prague, that's it. <laughs> So fun. Mm -hmm. It's funny the hotel we're staying at. Um, I mean, the lobby's really pretty, um, but we walked in and she was like, oh, Wow, mommy, look, beautiful. <laughs>
catch the movies now. Like, are from out of town. Um, I don't know. They're booking so far out now that I have probably six people a week coming from out of oh, wow. state. Yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of, you know, regular standing appointments, so mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of space on my schedule unless the people are like booking further out. Uh. Have you gotten another country yet? Not yet. Well, Canada. Oh, okay. It's, we live so close to Canada that sometimes I forget that it's really not a part of it. Yeah. I mean, there's one that's really right on the, like, almost Mexico. Yep. They're in Texas. Well, I don't know how close it really is, but on the map it looks very close. Yes, it does. Have trained nail techs in six other countries though. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. New Zealand, UK, Israel. I think I heard about the, the girl Spain. in the UK. She's the one that like had a huge spike in yes. Yes. her revenue and clients. Yeah. I'm sure she did. So lucky to need one in um, South Carolina. <laughs> Did you ever teach in person? Mm -hmm. like, so yeah. you worked at like a school or whatever? No, or I go to trade shows. Oh, okay. I have a trade show in July this year. I only have a couple of tickets left. Because the classroom can only hold so many people. Do they have like a fake foot or do they practice on each other? Oh, we demonstrate on a live person. I'd love to have their job. <laughs> who went to Tilbro mm -hmm. to have something, I think she had her toenail removed, or an ingrown removed, yeah, and then she besides. came to you afterwards. Yep. I was like, lucky. Yeah. <laughs> She's sweet. She's been back a couple times after that. I think I saw one of the follow-ups, but then there's another person who I watched their follow-up, but I don't think I saw their beginning. Or I can't find their beginning. Right. I have so many videos. I have over 400 videos now. It's hard for me to keep track. Oh, I'm not complaining. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, people are starting to 
play-by-play -play wonder of, oh, she's going to use this next, and she's going to do this, she's going to do that. I love that um, you started putting, like, the timestamps. Yes, I just started doing that. I'll just go like skip to my favorite. Yes. Some I've actually watched over again because they're just so good. 